गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई विश अ ब्राइट डे टू ऑल माई चैंस लेट अस बिगिन अवर इंग्लिश ऑनलाइन क्लास एंड टूडे इज द टर्न ऑफ द टॉपिक पंचुएशन वी आर गोइंग टू डू द टॉपिक पंचुएशन वॉट इज पंचुएशन पंचुएशन इज मार्क्स और स्टॉप्स पंचुएशन इज मार्क्स और स्टॉप्स and where do we make use of these marks or stops we make use of these marks and stops in a sentence punctuation is marks or stops in a sentence let us go through the definition of punctuation punctuation is the correct use of the stops or marks in a sentence so we see that in a sentence when we make use of marks and stops the use should be correct there should be correct use of the marks or stops in a sentence and why the use should be correct in order to give the sentence a complete sense let us clarify this with the help of the given sentences here we are having something very important to know let us go through both the sentences one by one at very first place we are having let's eat robby now robby is a name of a person and look what we are saying let's eat robby now you will see that here sign of inverted commas are putting and the sentence is also ending with the full stop but is it the sentence giving a sense लेट्स ईट रॉबी आओ रॉबी को खाते हैं नो वी सी दैट समथिंग इज मिसिंग हेयर लेट्स मूव टू द सेकेंड वन लेट्स ईट कॉमा रॉबी रॉबी नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग टू रॉबी रॉबी आओ खाते हैं नाउ वी सी दैट दिस सेंटेंस इज गिविंग अ कम्प्लीट मीनिंग अ कम्प्लीट सेंस वाई जस्ट बिकॉज एडिंग ऑफ दिस कॉमा दिस कॉमा इज गिविंग द whole sentence a meaningful sense so we can see uh, how miracle can the correct use of punctuation can do in a sentence let us go through various examples of punctuation for more clarification at very first place we see i am a teacher i am a teacher the sentence is clear and it is giving a sense but how do we come to know that after the word teacher nothing is to be added or the sentence is completed here hame kaise pata chalega ki sentence yahan par complete ho chuka hai aage kuch bhi add nahi karna hai there is no adding information here so if we are in confusion it means the sentence is incomplete so we will give it a complete look by adding full stop here because when we say i am a teacher and adding full stop or period here we also call full stop period then we can say the sentence is complete and is ending here next is the boys are flying kites ladke patang uda rahe hain now again the same question arises that whether any additional information is left or the sentence is completed here so we will clear this confusion this question by adding full stop at the end of the sentence at number 3 saturn mars and jupiter are planets the sun is a star now we see no punctuation mark no any stop or any mark is given here so how can we judge that the whole sentence is complete or they are different or two sentences are here saturn or mars are a combined word or different different word how do we come to know students we will get the answers of all these questions through the correct use of punctuation marks or stops in a sentence now we see that saturn and mars now what do we do we will put comma here saturn comma mars and jupiter आर प्लैनेट्स सेटन मार्स और जूपिटर क्या है प्लैनेट्स हैं सो द सेंटेंस इज एंडिंग हेयर एंड वी विल पुट फुल स्टॉप हेयर नाउ आफ्टर फुल स्टॉप द सेकेंड सेंटेंस इज बिगिनिंग द सन इज अ स्टार सन क्या है स्टार है नाउ बाई एडिंग फुल स्टॉप हेयर 
वी आर गिविंग कंप्लीट एंड मीनिंगफुल सेंस टू दिस दीज सेंटेंसेस सेटन कॉमा मार्स एंड जुपिटर आर प्लैनेट्स फुल स्टॉप नाउ आफ्टर फुल स्टॉप व्हाट डू वी डू द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इज बिगिनिंग सो द फर्स्ट वर्ड विल बी कैपिटल द सन इज अ स्टार और सूरज क्या है एक तारा है नाउ इन सेंटेंस फोर आर यू रेडी तुम तैयार हो क्या तुम तैयार हो सो वी आर पुटिंग क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड शुड वी वॉट शुड वी पुट एनी मार्क इन ऑर्डर टू अगेन गिविंग इट अ कम्प्लीट एंड अ मीनिंगफुल सेंस वेदर इट शुड बी फुल स्टॉप और वॉट वॉट एवर शुड बी एडिड अकॉर्डिंग टू द सेंटेंस वी हैव टू चूज द मार्क आर यू रेडी नाउ वी आर पुटिंग क्वेश्चन सो वॉट डू वी डू टू कम्प्लीट सेंस वी विल पुट साइन ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क हेयर वट आर यू डूइंग तुम क्या कर रहे हो नाउ अगेन वी आर पुटिंग क्वेश्चन एंड इफ नो साइन इज हेयर सो वी विल बी इन कन्फ्यूजन सो इन ऑर्डर टू ओमिट द कन्फ्यूजन वी विल पुट साइन ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क दैट दिस सेंटेंस इज कम्प्लीटेड हाउ ब्यूटिफुल Who has made this painting? Now we see that uh, this such a long sentence, and whether these are two sentences or uh, so whatever. So we will see how beautiful, kitna sundar. Now we are expressing our sudden reaction to see a beautiful thing. How beautiful! And if we add sign of exclamation here it will give a complete look to the sentence how beautiful next is who has made this painting yah painting kisne banayi hai now again we are asking a question we are putting a question so we will add a question mark here without you now you are able to see that if we are not making use of these marks or these signs how the look any sentence gives next is sudesh reema vaibhav and kusum are my friends now sudesh reema vaibhav all these are names we know but how do we differentiate them we should put a comma in between sudesh comma reema comma vaibhav and kusum are my friends and if the sentence is completed it should be given a complete look by adding full stop i live in sarojini nagar main sarojini nagar mein rehta hu next after we are having nothing but here we are finding another sentence where do you live tum kahan rehte ho now in writing i live in sarojini nagar we have to put full stop here because the statement is simple this is a simple sentence i live in sarojini nagar so we will put full stop here now in next sentence we are putting a question where do you live but without putting question mark the meaning of the senses the uh, clarification of the senses in written form is not clear so we will put sign of question mark here to give it a complete look where do you live sign of question mark will be applied here students this was your topic punctuation i hope now you can clear understand the correct use of punctuation in a sentence the correct use of punctuation gives the sentence a complete look a meaningful presentation of the sentence students keep on learning keep on watching and keep on practicing as well Thank you class good